Today was the first day for the weekly release of COVID-19 data for Ohio. Yeah, big change from those daily updates and those at first those news conferences every afternoon at 2 o'clock. Mm -hmm. One of the most familiar faces from those daily briefings is now talking about a new phase of the pandemic. 10 TV's Tracy Townsend has the exclusive interview with Dr. Amy Acton. St. Patrick's Day, not just a celebration this year. For many across the country and here in Central Ohio, it's a moment. It's not lost on medical experts monitoring a waning pandemic. Among them, Dr. Amy Acton. To me, it's the emergence. We sat down with the former Ohio Department of Health director in this exclusive interview. We're all coming out in different ways at different times. And my hope is that we have a little grace and mercy with one another. Um, when we see people struggling, we never know if someone has someone at home sick. Mm -hmm. So we're all going to be sort of inching our way out. But I do hope people feel the joy of one another. It's mm -hmm. to be here live is a joy. The health leader became a familiar face in the early days of COVID-19 and those daily two o'clock updates with the governor, helping to guide the state through the pandemic with its problems and new protocols. We did some of that in the pandemic. We had to solve things on short notice. Um, that were amazing that we did. What would you say as an example of that? One example very early on in the pandemic, first of all, is we were pitted against each other for PPE. It was like a Hunger Games. And we realized all of a sudden that every hospital was outbidding every hospital in Ohio. Dr. Acton continues to shy away from the political turn the pandemic took, but does say what the state and nation experienced unmasked problems that were pre-existing. There's so many things that I learned during this pandemic um, about nursing homes, about congregate. I just didn't think about my society and the world I lived in quite the same way, how interconnected and interdependent we are. And that one thing going on in this one area ends up affecting a school kid, ends up affecting mental health. This is what those boys and girls clubs are really getting at. Active describes COVID as a grave security risk to our nation and says Ohioans and others were makers or co-creators of how to deal with this kind of disruption. I saw what Ohioans could do firsthand. It was not my orders. Mm -hmm. Ohioans flattened a curve. Ohioans reached out and pulled each other on life rafts. They do it every day. They're often not the loud people, but they're the ones doing it. And we have to remember to all, we have to all row together. As for her next, she admits she'd like to get back to her normal life. In the meantime, she's been honored by USA Today as a woman of the year. What do you see as your place in history? It was the honor of a lifetime to hold that space for Ohioans. It was certainly unintended. Um, I'm a very ordinary person who found themselves in an extraordinary moment in time. Tracy Townsend, 10 TV News. To hear extended cuts of that interview, you can watch Face the State this Sunday morning at 1130 right here on 10 TV.